Hey, what's up guys? Con here with Rideshare Tips. So we got TJ Miller in the news for attacking an Uber driver. Last Friday, uh, he was at a GQ Men of the Year event. Early morning, he ordered an Uber. Uber driver picked him up and they got into a little argument about President-elect Donald Trump. Not sure who was picking whose side. I don't know if TJ Miller was defending or offending Donald Trump. But I guess they didn't see eye to eye on the guy. And um, at the end of the trip, when TJ Miller got dropped off, he decided to slap his Uber driver in the face. Driver decided to make a citizen's arrest. He called the police and TJ Miller did go to jail for this incident. Could this be a publicity stunt? Who knows? I don't know. Hollywood works in weird ways. Uh, I know TJ Miller has that new movie out in theaters right now, Office Christmas Party. TJ Miller, hilarious guy, great actor. You probably know him from the show Silicon Valley, but I guess he just had one too many to drink, huh? Wouldn't recommend punching your passenger or your driver in the face. First of all, though, I would not recommend talking about politics or religion in your Uber ride. It's just something you want to avoid, guys. If you don't see eye to eye on the topic, you're probably going to get a bad rating for it and you don't really want to argue with your passengers or your driver. So I would avoid those topics. I would also... In my last video, I talked about adjusting your rear view mirror so that you could see your passenger at all times and you can be prepared if you do see something uh, shady going on back there. And make sure they're buckled up because if they unbuckle their seatbelt, they're going to be able to reach further at you. So if they unbuckle your seatbelt, their seatbelt, be a little bit cautious, guys. I kind of wish I was that Uber driver, though. Uh, I'd definitely cash in on it. I would get a good lawyer. I'd say my neck hurts, uh, oy vey, my eye, I can't see anymore, I can't drive, I'm a different person, I don't know, I would make something up. This uh, Uber driver is definitely going to cash in on this incident, so I don't know whether or not if he knew who TJ Miller was. Personally, I probably wouldn't call the police on him, but if it was some jerk off that I didn't know, I, yeah, maybe I would, who knows, I'd probably hit him back before I called the cops though. Sucks to hear about it. Unfortunately, I don't think there was a dashboard cam, so we won't be able to see it, but I can reenact it for you. Hey, so what do you think about uh, our new president-elect Donald Trump? He's a good guy, huh? <laughs> but guys, it sucks. The Things like these do happen as a driver. Definitely beware of who you're picking up. If they have a bad rating, I would avoid picking them up. Even if they have a do, even if they have a good rating though, sometimes they're brand new passengers, so they have a perfect rating of a five star rating. So you never know what to expect, guys. I just wanted to do this video, sum it up for you guys, and make sure that you take care of yourselves. Have a happy, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and a happy New Year. New Year's Eve is a great time to drive for Uber and Lyft, so make sure you're out cashing in on that. There's going to be a lot of surges, probably going to be a lot of drunk people, so make sure you take care of yourself. Make sure you have a barf bag or two. I don't, I don't know. I haven't had anyone puke in my car yet. Hopefully I never will. So guys, in short, I want you guys to drive safe, take care of yourselves, don't hit your Uber drivers or your passengers, and I'll see you guys out there on the road. Have a good one.